Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, my name's Paul Ryan. I run a company called Improve on You, and I got the best bit of business advice from our man Brad. I used to call my office the Temple of Doom. You know what I mean? Because I, I sat there for year one. I call year one with Improve on You year naught because I learnt nothing and I earnt nothing. <laughs> then I joined 4N and things started to move. Um, I got onto the forum and I saw that Brad actually, you know, makes little posts. I thought, oh, I'm listening to his book. It's rather brilliant. It made me get off my arse. I'm going to email him. I said, dear Brad, uh, I really rather like your book. I thought it was very funny. I thought it was very insightful. And actually, it's helped me out a lot. And 20 minutes later, he phoned me. I couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, who's that? Is that, is that Paul? <laughs> well, impression of you, mate. <laughs> Uh, am I allowed to stay? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing? You all right? I said, yes, I'm fine. Yeah, Braddy, are you all right, mate? Said, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. So listen, yeah, look, well done. Thanks very much for that. Yeah, appreciate the positive feedback. What are you doing? Um, well, I'm, um, no, 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 what are you doing with your business? <laughs> well, I don't bloody know. <laughs> He said, all right, he said, I'll tell you what, he said, if you're as good as you think you are, this is what you want to do. You want to set up some workshops, charge practically nothing, make it a no-brainer, get on your feet, let people see what you're doing, get out there, get on with it. I went, fine. So that's exactly what I did. I keep running those workshops now, and it's called uh, No More Networking Nerves. And it's really to help people, because what I do, I help people <laughs> to speak at their best when often they speak at their worst. Presentation skills, getting up and speaking in front of people is the number one fear in the Western world. And people need help doing it. Not you, lovely people, you're all marvellous. But uh, so one of the things that I put in my workshop is actually this because it makes a huge difference. And how many people do you know, when you get to your 4N, uh, they'll stand up and go, hello everybody, uh, my name is Paul, and uh, actually what I do is I, I don't smile for a living, and I make, <laughs> I make people feel bloody miserable when they look at me, and I make sure they don't bloody well make, get me any work, I promise you. We've all done it, actually, I've done it too. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give you this, yes, this, Improve on you, pen. What I'd like you to do, folks, I'd like you all to be upstanding, but don't block the camera. <laughs> all right, dear. <laughs> be upstanding, and if you want, some of you turn around, but I want you to stand up, stand up, stand up. Take the pen. This is very, very important how you place the pen. Please put the clip on the left-hand side pointing out, all right, so that when you turn to the cameras, <laughs> they can see the logo, all right? <laughs> now, what I want you to do, you do very well. I want you to put it in there, that's what I want. But lips, li lips, Away from the pen, lips away from the pen. Away. No, no, away from the pen. Your lips are touching the pen, dear. Come on. All right, we can do a workshop for that. All right, look. Ashley, keep your lips away, keep your lips away from the pen. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing now? I want you to take the pen away, take the pen away. And what are we doing? We're all smiling, aren't we? We're all feeling happy. Take a seat. Yeah, Anthony Hecker actually made the pen. Uh, so thank you, Anthony. Um, yeah, that's the point. If you put a smile on your face, this sounds a little bit sickly, actually. But if you put a smile on your face, you will have a smile in your heart. Not only that, when you get up to speak, people are going to smile at you. So their defences are going to come down and they're going to want to hear what you've got to say. It's a very, very simple thing. Smile and the world will smile with you. Don't and you're all in your flipping own. So look, now I've got you all. And there's another really, really interesting thing. It's called embodied cognition. And it basically states the state of the human body determines the state of the human mind. That's quite a big statement. That basically what you do, you will feel. So now that we fake to smile, but I guarantee you're all feeling happy. The smiles are still there. All right. There's a little burst of endorphins, some oxytocin. Did you have a burst of oxytocin or endorphins, dear? Endorphins. Endorphins. <laughs> yes, I thought she looked like an endorphin sort of girl. <laughs> Yes, darling. Oh, it's a shame you didn't have a bit of... If you had a bit of both, that oh, never mind what would have happened then. <laughs> the sky's the limit, love. Anyway, so look, now I've got your jolly. What, what, we've done ten? No, you've got seven left. We've got ten minutes left. Oh, mother, now a song. No, no, no. But... <laughs> really? No. What I want you to do now... I want, now I've got your jolly. Now I've got your jolly uh, with the pen, you see, because we faked a smile and it actually makes you feel happy. So, before you go into your meeting, before you go in to give your, your foresight that you might be a bit nervous about, put that pen in your mouth and it will make you feel relaxed. All right? So, now, what I would like you to do is please be upstanding, but don't block the camera. Please be upstanding. <laughs> Pop your pens down. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I said they were free. I lied. They're two quid a piece, actually. I've got to... <laughs> I've got to make me petrol money up somehow. Um, all right, okay, so look, this is what I want you to do. I want you, please, to stand with your hands by your side. 
So four positions here, and I'm going to ask you to say it's been a fantastic year four times. But first, with your hands by your side like this, then with your hands like this. Copy me, copy me, copy me. Good, good, good. Then with your hands like this. Thank you. Them old endorphins are working on you, aren't they? <laughs> Her hands are going like this. And then with your hands up like this. Okay, fantastic. So, it's been a fantastic year. Ready? It's, it's been, been a fantastic, fantastic year. year. It's been a fantastic year. It's been a fantastic year. It's been a fantastic year. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. If, uh, take a seat just for a second. We'll be up and down like fiddler's elbows. You'll be <laughs> bleeding at the ear holes by the end of this 15 minutes. The point is that's a really great way to put some passion into your foresight, into your 60 seconds, should you wish. That is called the passion plane. So never stand with your hands by your side. That will slow down your heart rate. That will slow down your breathing rate. It will make your face sink. And you'll be like that bloke who speaks like that who never gets any work out of 4N, OK? <laughs> you'll notice it with all the speed today when they really feel passionate about something they'll put their hands there look isn't it interesting sort of beside the heart fascinating stuff so I could just say it's been a fantastic year miserable it's been a fantastic year quite nice it's been a fantastic year passionate it's been a fantastic year crazy I want you to turn to somebody in the room and I want you to decide in your personal life not your business life just yet because we're all sole traders and uh, we, we run SMEs but sometimes we think our, our business life and our personal life are meshed Think of something in your personal life out of the last 12 months that has made it a fantastic year. And I'm going to give you 15 seconds to turn and very, very quickly decide what that is and share it with your partner. Go. Hello, right. Thank you very much indeed. OK, so thank you very much indeed. Tell me why it's been a fantastic year in your personal life. Why has it been a fantastic year? Oh, you got engaged? You bloody cow! What about me? <laughs> Fuck off! Congratulations, I'm very, very pleased. Okay, what about to you? You <laughs> bastard! You. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Congratulations, mate! Congratulations, you poor cow. Anyway, <laughs> now that is great, great news. Congratulations to both of you. Why has it been a fantastic year for you? Quickly! Good friends. Good friends, because you've got good friends. Absolutely brilliant. How about yourself? Loads of holidays. Loads of holidays. Absolutely marvellous. How about you, Richard? Three new kittens. Three new kittens, and you gave birth to them without shedding a tear. <laughs> Steve, how about you? Oh, loads of things. Experiences. Creating a full-time job, but that's... No, no, okay, that's professional. It doesn't matter. That's all good. All right. Excellent. Okay, how about you, Terry? Buy a very rare AJS motorcycle. Ooh, that's Ooh. nice. Oh, very nice indeed. Hang on a minute. Someone just ridden off on it, mate. Sorry. <laughs> been a bad year all of a sudden for you. No, no, well done. Absolutely fantastic. All right, now what I would like you to do, I would like you to turn to the same partner and decide why in the last 12 months it's been a fantastic year from a work point of view. Off you go. Turn to you. All right, everybody. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, professionally, why has it been a fantastic year for you? Steph? Um, the book became the bestseller. Blooming it, you bad boy. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> bestseller. <laughs> fantastic. That really is fantastic. OK, how about you, professionally? I've been able to give you the results on the forum since the new step. All right, fantastic. And your Brad, you'll give her the £50 for saying that in just a few <laughs> moments. OK. How about you? It's been a fantastic year because? Because I started my new role with where I am now, uh, an author treatment that brings. Fantastic. We're well, just out of interest. Where is that? And what's the job? It's uh, I'm a sales director for Brilliant, excellent. So big, lots of big changes, lots of new opportunities. Fantastic, quite literally fantastic. How about you? Um, I started a new business out of a passion um, rather than just something I'm good at to make money. Great. So you're having fun and you're earning money at the same time. You make me sick. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that is fantastic. So what we've done, we all know what it's like as sole traders, as people who run our own SMEs. We have the good times, yes? yes. And we have the bad times, yeah? Yes. Yeah, hands up who knows what it's like to feel miserable when they get up in the morning. We all do. We all do, absolutely. It's really, really tough, but sometimes it's very, very useful to remind yourselves of what's been good, because the brain works a little bit like this. You know when you walk into a room and it smells of, uh, I don't know, freshly baked bread and uh, filtered coffee? 
Yeah, you're obviously trying to sell the home to somebody who's walking in. Well, actually, after about two minutes, you, uh, you stop uh, filtering that, as it were. You stop smelling it. And the only way of raising your awareness is to go out of the room and come back in, and then you'll smell it afresh. It's a little bit like that with our little wins, with our big wins. We forget our successes, agreed? I know I do. So a really, really good way of waking up that sense of positivity is to think about what you've done that's been brilliant. So what I'd like you to do when you leave today is write down 10 things that you know you've done brilliantly, whether they be in your personal life or your professional life. 10 things so that on that morning when you wake up feeling a bit rough or a bit negative or you've had a bad day the day before, you want to feel good that day, you read it and you wake up that sense of can do, will do. Also, I'd like to say one more thing. Brad, how much time have I got left? Three minutes. Three minutes. To add to that, I want to suggest... You jump outside your comfort zone and start doing things you, you wouldn't ordinarily do. I think, Dee, you mentioned that you'd run a full marathon. Yeah? The first time you've ever done it? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so you're meeting new people. You're having a new experience that will stay with you forever. That's a big win. For myself, I'm physically one of the laziest people I know. My wife will attest to that. In fact, she's written it down for you to read. I'll pass that out. <laughs> No, very, very lazy. I hate physical exercise, but in the last two years, because I think it's very, very important that I'm seen to do what I ask and tell other people to do, I've pushed the outside of my comfort zone. So I've done three half marathons. Ooh. Yes. I've done two... <laughs> I've done, I've done three, tri three triathlons, Woo! mini ones, yes, yes, yes. And what else have I done? Oh, yes, and I've written that book. And I'm not putting that in as a pitch. The whole point is if you, you can surprise yourself by deciding to do something outside your comfort zone. Smile, be chat, join for networking.